Good morning guys, welcome to part four of installing the above ground pool here three days away. Glad you could join us. Folks, this is the big day where I finish up the pad and erect the pool and start filling it with water. So let me show you what we've done so far. All right, here's the uh, about 22 foot uh, wide uh, round pad for a 20 foot Intex above ground pool. Uh, it's a 20 by 48. Um, Underneath is road base with uh, compacted and level with a bunch of these pavers for the legs. And then we got a couple inches of sand uh, compacted and then I'm grooming it a little bit with this uh, sod uh, roller here full of water. Um, it's been about a week or two since I laid the sand and the dogs kind of put some footholds in it. So I'm just uh, compacting it again or just grooming it up. Uh, and then um, getting it just right for the pool. So I got the tarp down that came with the pool, and then I got the 22 or 21 foot armor shield uh, protection system, they call it. And uh, this is kind of a felt material. Yeah, it's about that thick. And uh, you see there's got a lot of wrinkles on here, so the instructions say uh, uh, dampen. The surface uh, to help get the wrinkles out and uh, not soak it but just dampen it and that's what I'm going to do now. All right guys so um, it helps to lay it out and let the sun kind of warm it up a little bit, be a little bit more pliable and uh, I'm sure you guys already know this but be sure to line up the holes the fittings on the pool with where you plan on putting your pump and plumbing and stuff. In my case, I'm going to be putting it over here. And so my drains, or not the drains, but the intake outtake ports and where I plan to put the skimmer is all over here. All right, guys, here we go. So after about an hour or so, uh, this is what I have. So I'm going to go around now and just center these uh, pavers under the legs uh, and tuck the uh, excess tarp and pad up under it um, I got the uh, holes in the right spot because I'm gonna hook up the sand filter over there and uh, just need to make sure I don't kick any rocks up under there as I'm tucking in the excess uh, tarp uh, I think once it's full and everything I, I might go around and with some scissors and a couple beers and trim it away or not I'm not sure I haven't made up my mind yet Depends on how I'm feeling, but here's what I'm afraid of: these rocks. Don't want to get any rocks under there. See that? More rocks. Wow! Looks like my dog's been over here digging, and then I'm gonna get in here and uh, kind of kick out the wrinkles uh, before I start putting water in there. I'm gonna go with uh, an inch of water at first. Get back in, uh, press out any wrinkles that are left. Because uh, if you get more than an inch of water in there, that's uh, too heavy. You're not going to be able to move it. Um, then we'll see how it looks. So um, I want to show you um, kind of how it looks right now. Now, some of the legs aren't completely uh, centered on the stones, but it's pretty level, I'd say. Not bad. Um, you know, some of the legs are a little tilted because I haven't straightened them yet, but I'd say that's pretty good guys I'm uh, definitely within an inch I think of uh, end to end uh, I'll definitely be able to tell once I uh, put some water in there but uh, the way I see it right now it's looking pretty good so I'm gonna get started here and uh, give you an update later the uh, how uh, level pull is not bad you know, I can't really tell if it is or not, but, uh, I mean, it is. Anyway, this ladder here is junk. Guys, uh, capacity is 300 pounds, so really it should be more like 200 pounds. Um, I'm using a doormat to kind of protect the liner. Um, we're just going to use it to get in there to uh, set it up, but we bought a, uh, a stair swim step system and then we're going to build a uh, 
our own platform with some runners. Not, not really a deck, just more like a steep stairway in to the uh, swim steps so that uh, even uh, senior citizens like me can get in and out pretty comfortably. But uh, we, know, we all know it's really about not spilling your beer on the way in and out, right? All right, guys, now for the reveal. It's been uh, uh, one full day and a half a day. Um, I've had landscapers here. We've laid some decomposed granite, kind of a round part of the pool. I've hooked up the pump. Now, at any moment now, I'll be able to start up that Intex sand filter pump and get the water circulating. But uh, it's, it's nearly where it needs to be, and uh, let me show you how it turned out. There we go, guys. Not too shabby, I'd say. Uh, they got the DG all the way up to the uh, bender board on both sides, nice and level. Um, they compacted it. Now, this is the kind that's a little bit more expensive. It's got the stabilizer in it, um, and uh, it does a better job at staying put. Um, and uh, I really like the way it turned out. This is really more of a temporary solution um, to not having the grass here anymore. Uh, Definitely not in the budget to do a full-blown paver system that's uh, level. So we went with the next best thing. But the pool just came out fantastic, guys. It's just so level. Um, so level, it's just insane. I've seen so many videos about these things. Uh, and uh, this one came out great. Um, still got a little trimming to do. Um, got the pool pad and the tarp under there. Um, I'll trim that away here in the coming weeks. But uh, for now, it's just going to stay put. Um, and then I'm going to fill it up with uh, river rock along the edges here. I might just actually trim notches and spread it out into that basin there, kind of like a kind of a built-in weed barrier, and then just lay the river rock right on top of it. Uh, it'll probably just all rot away anyway, but uh, hey, what the heck, you know. And the uh, wide-angle view, uh, as you can see, this is probably going to be a good spot for a pool stairway. Now this ladder that uh, comes with it is a piece of junk. Uh, it's, it's good for setting up the pool to get in there, but not for regular use. So um, I'm going to use some stringers right here and, and do some nice comfortable steps. Uh, and then just a very small platform up there to tie our new uh, swim ladder up to. But uh, definitely no, no deck or anything like that. We just don't got the room for it, as you can see. All right, guys, here's the uh, Intex uh, sand filter and pump. I believe it's uh, 2,800 uh, gallons per hour or something along that line. And uh, there you can see the back of the Haywood uh, or Hayward uh, skimmer. Um, I like the way it kind of turned out. Um, and then for hookup, yeah, there's a lot of exotic stuff out there. But, you know, what I ended up doing is I just cut the, uh, the Intex one and a half inch pipe that comes with it. Uh, and then I took some goo, kind of silicone on the inside, and then slid it up and just clamped it off. Um, I don't see any leaks yet. The most leak I see is maybe just a hair of a leak. It's just kind of, I might just need to tighten up a screw there. But uh, the water's just starting to touch the bottom of this uh, skimmer, and I don't really see anything too big of a deal. Um, but the, uh, the pump and the filter system, easy to set up. Um, never done it before. Got all the sand in there. Uh, I got it on, uh, on the backwash setting for now. Um, there's plenty of videos out here, guys, to how you set these up and start them up. I don't need to bore you with that. I just wanted to show you the job on the pool here. Here's another view of where the, uh, the old ugly rock meets the uh, decomposed granite. Um, someday I may continue this out here but i'm gonna build a rack here for all the pool tools things like that uh, against this wall here um i'm gonna move up my tiki man up a little bit higher put a light on him um, but the pool tools will be basically right in here and below level of the pool so that when you're in the house you don't see them as far as the stock plugs they're working pretty good um, i did use some silicone in there um, before i plugged them up um, no leaks to report right there now, I know some people support these um, a little bit uh, with maybe a, a custom stick under there. Uh, I may do that, um, but really it doesn't need it. Um, 
but I guess I will do something maybe just uh, slightly um, but it's it's designed to hang like that and I like to trust manufacturers <laughs> I know I shouldn't but uh, maybe I, I will build that little stick there otherwise the uh, plunger valves are mounted um, now a really helpful guys um, when you get all these fittings um, brand new out of the box even the plunger valve fitting um, get yourself some petroleum jelly and uh, go over all those o-rings and even the threads with petroleum jelly on everything guys it'll simplify insulation and actually uh, behave like um, teflon tape for water um, you don't need teflon tape um, you could use it if you want if you don't have petroleum jelly but i recommend petroleum jelly it uh, just makes uh this so much easier and it keeps your o-rings lubricated which is the number one reason for these uh, pump systems to leak water unexplainably um, anyway so one more quick little pan of the pool guys now that mat there that's just a regular walmart uh front rubber rubberized doormat uh that you can put down for your uh, ladder and stair pad uh you don't have to waste your money on these cheap skinny uh, pads just get yourself a ni nice uh, rubber uh, um, doormat uh, uh, I, I recommend nice solid rubber uh, so that it doesn't uh, uh, have growth of anything in the stuff so anyway anyway guys that's that's about it uh, appreciate you watching this video be sure to like and subscribe and uh, comment down below what you think uh, I did wrong what we can do better and uh man even if you like the video we'd love to hear from you see you later